Introduction, Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, the beloved television series that captured the hearts and imaginations of viewers in the 1960s, remains a timeless classic even today. Premiering in 1964, the science fiction adventure series was the brainchild of the legendary television producer, Irwin Allen. Combining elements of action, suspense, and futuristic technology, the show became an instant hit, captivating audiences with its thrilling underwater exploits and captivating storylines. The popularity of Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea can be attributed to several factors. Firstly, it tapped into the widespread fascination with exploration and the unknown, echoing the spirit of adventure that was prevalent during the space age. The series took viewers on a remarkable journey aboard the futuristic submarine Seaview, as the crew embarked on daring missions to save the world from various threats, both terrestrial and extraterrestrial. A blend of high-stakes danger, cutting-edge technology, and the allure of the uncharted depths of the ocean made for an irresistible combination. Furthermore, the presence of well-known actors and actresses added to the appeal of the series. Richard Basehart, a seasoned actor of both stage and screen, brought Gravitas to the role of Admiral Harriman Nelson, the brilliant and resourceful leader of the Seaview. David Hedison portrayed the dashing and capable Captain Lee Crane, while Robert Dowdle portrayed the young and eager Lieutenant Commander Chip Morton. Other notable actors who made appearances throughout the show's four-season run included Terry Becker, Alan Hunt, and Del Monroe, among others. As fans reminisce about Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, it's not uncommon to hear tales of gathering around the television set, eagerly awaiting each new episode. The thrilling adventures, the intricate models of the Seaview and other futuristic vehicles, and the captivating performances of the cast created a lasting impact on viewers of all ages. The series sparked the imagination and ignited a sense of wonder, leaving a lasting impression that endures to this day. Do you have any fond memories of Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea? Did you eagerly anticipate each new episode, or perhaps find inspiration in its thrilling tales of exploration? Share your recollections and let the spirit of this beloved series live on. In 1964, during the filming of Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, actor Richard Basehart fell ill, posing a challenge for the production team. To maintain continuity, creative adjustments were made. The episode The Monster's Web underwent rewrites, using stand-ins and dubbing to minimize Admiral Nelson's role. In The Menfish, his character was written away, with lines given to Admiral Park. In subsequent episodes, dialogue was redistributed among other characters. Basehart's return in the season finale delighted fans. The challenges highlighted the team's resilience and creativity, ensuring the show's quality. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea became a beloved part of TV history, triumphing over adversity and captivating audiences. Its enduring legacy showcased the power of storytelling and the bond between viewers and characters. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, a classic 1964 series, captivated audiences with its futuristic submarine setting, blending sci-fi, suspense, and drama. James Doohan's portrayal of Lawrence Tobin stood out, showcasing his talent and on-screen presence. Interestingly, Doohan was initially offered the role of Chief Sharky, but fate intervened. He received an offer to play Chief Engineer Montgomery Scott on Star Trek, a role that would define his legacy. Duhan's decision to turn down Voyage in favor of Star Trek shaped his career and earned him a permanent place in TV history. Terry Becker stepped into the shoes of Chief Sharky, infusing the character with his unique style and energy. His portrayal added a new dynamic to the series, creating captivating interplay among the crew. Both Duhan and Becker's choices had a profound impact. Duhan's Scotty became an international icon, while Becker's Sharky contributed to the enduring legacy of Voyage. These actors' journeys reflect the power of storytelling and memorable characters. Their legacies will forever be intertwined with their respective shows, inspiring and entertaining audiences. Let us celebrate their remarkable paths in pursuit of greatness. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, a timeless television series created by Irwin Allen in 1964, took audiences on an unforgettable underwater adventure. Initially hesitant, renowned actor David Hedison embraced the role of Lee Crane after learning that Richard Basehart would portray Admiral Nelson. Their collaboration brought to life a dynamic relationship filled with tension and respect. As the show unfolded, viewers were captivated by the storytelling 
special effects, and the entire cast's performances. Hedison's portrayal of Crane showcased bravery and resourcefulness, while his chemistry with Basehart elevated the series. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea explored profound themes and inspired generations to dream of unexplored frontiers. Hedison's commitment to the character left an indelible mark on fans worldwide. This tale reminds us of the power of second chances and the magic that happens when talented individuals collaborate. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, a beloved TV series from 1964, has captivated audiences for decades. Its iconic props have made appearances in other shows like Lost in Space, The Time Tunnel, Land of the Giants, and Batman. This interconnectedness sparks viewers' imaginations, blurring the lines between different fictional universes. The props seamlessly fit into these diverse narratives, transporting audiences to imaginative worlds. The shared use of these props highlights the creativity and versatility of the entertainment industry. They serve as a reminder of the interconnectivity between beloved shows, uniting generations of viewers. Step aboard the Sea View, the legendary submarine from Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. This iconic TV series captivated global audiences with thrilling adventures and groundbreaking visuals. The season two opener, Jonah and the Whale, transitioned from black and white to vibrant color, adding excitement to viewers' experience. Fans witnessed a redesigned Sea View with a sleek hatch and single set of observation windows, granting access to the futuristic flying sub. Stock footage occasionally showcased the submarine with three or six windows, yet its allure remained undiminished. The production team's attention to detail extended to new crew uniforms, refreshing the series. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea introduced the remarkable flying sub, utilizing six distinct models across seasons two to four. Crafted to be state-of-the-art, it became a versatile vehicle for exploration and adventure, captivating audiences as they followed the Seaview's perilous missions into the depths. The show's enduring legacy can be seen in subsequent science fiction productions, combining thrilling storytelling with cutting-edge visuals. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea pushed boundaries, leaving an indelible mark on television. Relive the excitement, join Admiral Nelson, Captain Crane and their crew on extraordinary adventures beneath the sea. This series exemplifies the power of storytelling and groundbreaking visual effects. Dive deep into the unknown, embark on a breathless voyage. In 1964, the TV series Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea enthralled viewers with its underwater mysteries. The British publishing company, World Distributors, released the annual in 1966, taking the fandom to new depths. This hardback book brought the beloved characters to life, immersing readers in captivating adventures. With prose and vivid illustrations, it transported fans to uncharted waters of excitement, even reprinting a nostalgic story from Gold Key Comics. The annual became a cherished addition to collections, extending fascination beyond the screen. It showcased the enduring legacy of the series and storytelling's power to captivate. As we reflect on the impact of Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, the annual's indelible mark can't be ignored. It allowed fans to embark on thrilling underwater adventures and breathe new life into the series. Its legacy echoes through television and literature, a testament to imagination and the thirst for adventure.